Yeah, now, how hard was it to get out of that abusive and, and dangerous relationship? Well, it was very difficult and dangerous because Ike was a violent person, and at that point, he was on drugs. Tina Turner is an American-born Swiss singer and actress. Having sold over 100 million records, she's one of the best-selling recording artists of all time and has been referred to as the queen of rock and roll. Turner is noted for her energetic stage presence, powerful vocals, and career longevity. She previously held a Guinness World Record for the largest paid audience, 180,000 in 1988, for a solo performer. Turner rose to prominence as part of the Ike and Tina Turner Review before launching a successful career as a solo performer. Turner has won 12 Grammy Awards. Those awards include eight competitive awards, three Grammy Hall of Fame awards, and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. She was born Anna Mae Bullock, but is known as the Queen of Rock and Roll. What's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. She was born on November 26, 1939 in Brownsville, Tennessee, USA, making her 80 years old at the time of production. She stands 5 foot 4 or 1.63 meters tall. Turner is sometimes referred to herself as a Buddhist Baptist, alluding to her upbringing in the Baptist church and her later conversion to Buddhism. Turner has collaborated with Tibetan Buddhists and met with the 14th Dalai Lama in Switzerland in 2005, citing this as an inspiration for a spiritual music project she later co-founded called Beyond. Tina was in a relationship with Raymond Hill, the saxophonist from Kings of Rhythm, and became pregnant during her senior year of high school. Tina and Hill's son Craig was born in 1958, but the couple had already split. Tina then married musical partner Ike Turner in 1962. After the birth of their son Ronnie in 1960, Together, they raised Ronnie, Craig, and Ike's two sons from a previous relationship. Citing irreconcilable differences, Tina filed for divorce from Ike, finalized on March 29, 1978. Tina met German music executive Erwin Bach in 1986, and the pair married in July 2013 after dating for 27 years. Also in 2013, Tina applied for Swiss citizenship, after passing all the mandatory tests, she became a citizen of Switzerland in April 2013 and gave up her American citizenship in October 2013. Why do you think you found yourself thinking about him? I get emotional with certain, certain conversations. Turner was born Anna Mae Bullock in Brownsville, Tennessee on November 26, 1939. She was the youngest of the family and has two older sisters. She grew up in Nutbush, Tennessee, with a brief relocation to Knoxville, Tennessee during World War II. The family returned to Nutbush after the war and Tina attended Flag Grove Elementary School. Growing up, she sang in the church choir at Spring Hill Baptist Church in Nutbush. When Tina was 11 years old, her mother left the family and her father moved to Detroit after getting remarried. As a result, Tina and her sisters were sent to live with their grandmother in Brownsville, Tennessee. Following her grandmother's death, she moved to live with her mother in St. Louis, Missouri, where she graduated from Sumner High School in 1958. In her teenage years, she worked as a domestic worker and also as a nurse's aide at Barnes Jewish Hospital. It was when Tina and her sister began frequenting St. Louis nightclubs that she first saw Ike Turner perform with his band, The Kings of Rhythm. Eventually, she impressed Ike with her singing skills enough that she became a featured vocalist with the band. In 1960, Ike wrote the song A Fool in Love for singer Art Lassiter. Tina was supposed to sing background vocals, but after Lassiter failed to show up, Ike had her sing the lead part instead since he'd already paid for the studio time. He originally intended to use the track with her vocals just as a demo, but he was convinced by local DJ Dave Dixon to send the record to the president of R&B label Sue Records, Juggy Murray. Murray was impressed and bought the track paying like $25,000 advance for the rights to the song. As a result, Ike gave Tina the stage name, Tina Turner, and trademarked the name.
Tina's music career officially launched with the release of A Fool in Love in July 1960, credited to the duo Ike and Tina Turner. It was an instant hit, peaking at number two on the Hot R&B Singles Chart and number 27 on the Billboard Hot 100. Together, Ike and Tina released another single in 1961, It's Gonna Work Out Fine, which was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rock and Roll Performance. Other notable releases between 1960 and 1962 include I Idolize You, Poor Fool, and Tra La La. Ike put together the ensemble The Ike and Tina Turner Review, which combined the Kings of Rhythm and a girl group called the Ikeettes with him as the band leader, and they toured the country. Tina's first credited single as a solo artist was the song Too Many Ties That Bind, We Need an Understanding, 1964, released by Ike's label, Sonya Records. Once their time at Sue Records was up, the duo would go on to sign with over 10 labels, including Kent, Senko, Tangerine, Pompeii, A&M, and Minute. They signed with Warner Brothers subsidiary Loma Records in 1964. Their big breakthrough came when producer Phil Spector invited them to appear in the concert film The Big TNT Show in 1966. Spector was so impressed by them, he offered them a deal to work together, thus the song River Deep, Mountain High, 1966 was released on Spector's label, Phillies. They continued on to enjoy global success, releasing multiple hit singles, including their 1971 cover of Proud Mary, which won a Grammy for Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group. They also released several Grammy-nominated albums, like Tina Turns the Country On, 1974, and The Gospel According to Ike and Tina, 1974. After their marriage and working relationship fell apart in the late 1970s, with Tina eventually filing for divorce in 1978, Tina embarked on a solo career. Tina's first solo album sold poorly, as well as the one following it. But in 1984, she made her big comeback, releasing the song What's Love Got to Do With It. It remains her only number one hit single on any Billboard chart, She went on to release two more successful follow-up singles, Better Be Good To Me and Private Dancer, and ended up winning three different awards at the 27th Annual Grammy Awards. Outside of music, Tina has also enjoyed success as an actress. Her first acting role was in the fantasy drama film Tommy, 1975. She also starred opposite Mel Gibson in the post-apocalyptic film Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, 1985, which was a commercial hit that earned more than $36 million in the United States. Her performance in the film was well received by critics. Tina Turner's net worth is $250 million. Turner has a house in the hills near the Riviera in the south of France. She also owns a house on the shores of Lake Zurich in Switzerland. The one-time home of 60s soul duo Ike and Tina Turner in LA's View Park area has rolled off the market, selling for $1.4 million. The 3,000-square-foot open plan connects the living, dining, and family rooms to an all-new kitchen. The master suite features a walk-in closet and direct access to the outdoors for a total of four bedrooms and five bathrooms. A custom pool, a cabana, and a fire pit lounge area sit at the back of the home. The property changed hands previously for
Tina Turner's cars include a Mercedes G-Class, A 1973 Jaguar XKE, a 1973 Jaguar XKE, a Mercedes C-Class CDI, a 1973 Jaguar CDI, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom.